Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We got some money. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy something. Let's buy the thief. Class unlock thief. Um, uh, didn't we have? Well, we have wizards as well, so we're gonna probably do a wizard run, and also a thief run. Why not? Let's do our den of danger. Let's see, dangerous investment. Challenge and defeat the bank of roaming here. Sure. We're gonna do human, of course, and we'll do wizard. And um, apparently this slayer wand doesn't work. That's my reading comprehension not working or failing me. Let's take the shield. I do like a shield. Shield good. Um, I like the music a lot in this game. Uh, let's see, what is this? Fancy pamphlet. Click to read. A pamphlet advertising the services of someone with very expensive pa taste in paper. Perhaps you should read it. Um, I don't know if I want to read it. I guess I'll read it. Do you have a living body? Fragile, isn't it? What if we told you there was a way to avoid the mess of brutal evisceration? A savvy adventurer like yourself would want to know more, yes? It's called Rewind Insurance. When your inevitable violent demise occurs, insurance will rewind time, allowing you to make healthier choices. You won't have to do a thing. The whole process is automatic, though legally we cannot say painless. Dying is less permanent? Okay, so is this... Interesting. Uh, is this the rewind of feature of this game I, I still haven't seen what that is but hey we're the wizard uh something i've been noticing um with the i was watching kind of the dev notes and journal and stuff on this game and i really really appreciate they have um an icon for like every class but i also think they have an icon for every combination of class and kin which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it but uh, I'm not sure if that's true, because if that was true, then I think there's like seven or eight kin, and then there's like 25 classes. So you're talking about like a couple hundred images there. But either way, I really like the, the art in this game. I don't know if I want to play it like this. This isn't, uh, this is kind of like what the original looked like, and I don't hate it, although I think it is a little bit small. I don't, um, I guess for me, what I'd like to have is a compromise. Because something I'm not a huge fan of in this game, uh, in this in this remake, is that when I zoom in, it angles like this. I don't want angle. I, I just kind of want to zoom in. Um, and, and having an angle does things to my brain face. So um, it's my only real criticism of this game is I, I kind of wish there was a bit more options. And like I also don't like that it pans snaps like that because that means I'm like um using the lower right corner of my screen i don't know it's just like you know it seems kind of unnecessary but either, that is it that is really like it so we're a wizard um when we i think we still get the 10 percent bonus for hand converting uh but when we level up i think we get more mana and we also our spells are cheaper and i do believe the burn day rays um is uh cheaper it was it's normally six mana Whereas it is only five mana here, so we could cast it twice. And if I was to cast it on this guy, it would... Um, so we'd have to do it at least twice. And where you would do seven damage. So if we did it twice, we would be doing four damage. This is this is the game, I'm afraid. You have to do a lot, a little bit of math. So we would do eight damage with two burn to raise. Um... And that would take him down to four health, not including the damage from burning stacks. So we could definitely kill this lad. And I actually, I'm not sure, I, I kind of want to experiment here, but if I move, does that... No, they, they, they get their health back. I'm, I, I want to check what ma burning does. Takes additional magic damage when attacked. Oh! So they only take that damage when they attack when when they are attacked. Um, interesting. Well, anyway, we killed them. This is good. We have enough for one more burn to raise, but I, I want to. Uh, I actually I would like to kill this lad if I can. They don't do very much damage, and we can do two burn to raise and basically max their stacks. I'm not sure if maybe the wizard gets a bonus. Because it seems like I'm uh, applying more stacks of burning than normal. 
but either way so we could we could do one burn to raise smack him once for additional burn to raise like burning damage hit him with another and then smack him again and we basically took no damage there and we leveled up we killed two things uh higher than us i wonder if it's actually the human that gains a bonus from killing i'm not sure magic sense can see glyph locations all glyphs are small right so we can see glyphs from farther away um glyph costs one mana and donate 10 conversion points to other conversions and then starts with the burn to raise glyph double burn stacks okay so that is we do have uh that bonus i wasn't just imagining that and then we have uh damage reduction because i took the shield um the shield i mean th this does cost us money to take but i think it's worth it overall i do i am a little bit confused about certain things like i'm not sure why uh we are able to kill these lads without taking any damage because that would imply that we have first strike could we maybe kill this lad that would be amazing we can hit them once without taking damage or sorry without dying i should say um we don't have a, a a free death but what i could do is this how much would this give us guaranteed to restore 40 percent of your total mana that would mean we would only get four mana left so that wouldn't be enough to cast another one of these but if we hit them once i, I guess i'm committing to this now unfortunately we are not going to have enough to kill them they have so we're gonna we're gonna smack them that means we're gonna we're in de death's door basically uh, and then we're going to do another burn to raise and we still don't have enough and I can't recover the mana to get an another burn to raise. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a health potion and kill them. Worth doing like if you can kill something higher without using too many resources, like I think if you only use one potion, it's probably worth doing something like that. But um, I'm probably trying to apply some like advanced dun desktop dungeons uh, tactics to an otherwise fairly painless uh, dungeon. So we got a glyph. Want to fight? Oh, I love want to fight. It, it proved to be very helpful. And here's the nice thing about want to fight with the wizard is first of all, it's cheaper. But second of all, um, I'm pretty sure if we use burn to raise on them, it doesn't, uh, they're no longer slowed. I guess they are still slowed. That's fine. Maybe when they, when, when you're killing the monster, they, they, maybe you do get first strike. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure certain things out. So this is a, our warlock. They have magic attack. This does, deals magic damage. I guess it doesn't tell there's a, you got to watch out for mana burn mana burn does damage i believe based on how much mana you have or it might just remove your mana interesting that we can see the entire field here here lies the witch doctor practitioner of voodoo master of totems another character for another time witch doctor here lies the shapeshifter at least we think so it may just be some innocent townsperson we mobbed don't engrave that last bit okay i think i met them interesting so we're learning about other characters here lies the dwarf vampire in loving memory of a combination once possible now lost always in short supply here lies prevish the extreme died in a freak deep sea skiving incident not done with life yet hardcore um, so this zombie does 25 damage and is a pain in the butt. I don't think we can actually take them on even, uh, we're, we're only level three. Here lies every single desktop dungeons forum member who has ever asked for an in-game reference. It's kind of cramped in here, you know, but they got reference. That's pretty good. The battle mage, the original sorceress badass. The flesh is gone, but the legacy continues interesting dungeon here we uh we didn't wait okay i can go back the, you can step on these stones we, we didn't uh there was no revealing of this dungeon which is interesting it's like the whole thing was like revealed already okay let's just go level up sometimes you don't have to or shouldn't necessarily like try and metagame the whole dungeon like try and uh 
you know, fast level or anything like that. We can kill these meat meat people without much concern. Same for that goblin. This warlock will prove to be a problem, but I think we can take them out. Nice. We got some glyphs over there. We would like to take those. Better to take the glyphs maybe before you uh, kill every creature, even the level ones, because you remember uh, I had that one that would gain extra XP from turning creatures into stone. Push an enemy back by one tile, deals 60% base attack damage if target hits a wall, or 50% if another enemy. Don't mind me, just sneezing. Uh, okay, so this <laughs> piss orf, I, I like that, that's really good. Uh, and we have getting dare, I love getting dare. Getting dare is great. So we can push this lad. Um, Pishorf, we can cast three times, and when we level up, probably four times. Uh, and we can do some nice stamp. Oh, wait, I see it. It removes the dungeon tile. It does remove the dungeon tile. So you can only do this a certain number of times, um, until you can't anymore. Let's just, like, kill them. I'm surprised they- I guess we could have uh, got, uh, done a get and dare. So we could do Pishorf. Uh, or piss off uh, against this guy three times. They do 16 damage. They would kill us in three turns, and we would have to kill them in six. So being able to do three attacks would be good. I don't think we can kill this lead. Not for a while. What is this? Oh yeah, just like extra mana. There we go. Now, now we could maybe take them on. I wonder if we can push them diagonally. We can. We can now take um, th three hits. I guess it, it has hovered in yellow how many times I'm going to hit them before I die. It's a good way of figuring out um, how, how, how much you get, basically. Getting there is only two, but we can do Pish or... F I keep saying Pishorf uh, th four times, but with that, that assumes that we can do it four times. Like that, there we have four walls to push them into. Um, what I'd like to do is get rid of this wall here, and then I could push them diagonally into this wall, and then in do it like three times at the very least. That's a vampire. So you want to stimulate your kingdom's economy a little more, eh? Very well. Prove yourself in both of our traditional economist combat trials, and you'll be worthy of our assistance. Blah. <laughs> Otherwise, you shall die by my hand, which is a very convenient demonstration of our life insurance policy. Your exit has been blocked. We fight to the death. Finance is cutthroat. Very good. Um, this lad will level us up. So why don't we go ahead and do push them? I'm gonna push them again. And then I can push them two more times, dealing some more damage and getting rid of these walls. And then kill them. And level up. It doesn't matter that they did a bunch of damage because we just uh got a bunch of health from well we, we got all of our health back from leveling up. So I'm pretty sure if I push this guy four times or three times, we can only push them three times. Actually, no, we uh, we could push them four times, but we would have to reveal this stuff over here. Um, let's reveal it now, and that way when we reveal it after, we won't recover the, the monster's health. So we're going to push them once. Twice. Three times. Four times. We recovered a little bit of their health, but I think that we are okay to smack them. In fact, we will kill them. We can um, use a... Actually, we can't use get, get and Dare, unfortunately, but we can kill them. So that's a nice chunk of XP. Um, there's another Glyph. Let's see what that is. That is, wait what? Swap places with an enemy, adding slow debuff. We've got a lot of spells. There's not really a good reason to have a lot of spells. 
Um, I think that you probably want to keep things simple in this game. I mean, I'm probably wrong about that, let's be honest. That's exactly the kind of thing I am generally wrong about. We have a level 8 creature, Goblin. Adding slow debuff, no blink or treat or retaliation, strike second. Um, we could do two burned arrays and get in dare on this guy. That would do four damage plus a, uh, put burning stacks on them. Um, burned arrays really doesn't do, oh, per character level. My bad. It's four damage per character level. So I'm level five. Therefore, this is going to do uh, 20 damage. Is my math right on that? Yeah, 20 damage. So I could do, I could hit them once and then attack them once. Um, which is going to do, we're doing 25 plus 0% bonus. We should really, I, I really feel like we should probably convert a couple of things. Let's go ahead and convert this wait what. Um, I like wait what, but um, I think it's better put towards a uh, attack bonus. Um, we could also, there is the option of piss, piss, uh, piss orf. Base attack damage if a target is hitting a wall. We could definitely shove him into some walls here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I have a lot of control here because if I push him down that way, actually, that's fine. We can we can do this three times. Yeah, let's do let's do this. I think we have potential here. We can do this three times. And then, um, we still have seven mana left. So we could hit them for 20 damage. With this, we have potions as backup in case I mess this up. I think we're good because now I can hit them once and then I can do, uh, get in there for the, whoa, that's still, oh, they have first strike. So that does nothing. Ah, shoot. Oops. Okay, well, I guess what we'll do instead, this does 60% base damage. Um, our base damage is, I think, 25. So doesn't that mean that it's going to do 60% of 25 damage? It's not a lot because we need to do 25 damage. So I'm pretty sure we'd have to do this at least two more times. We would get eight mana back from this. I'm pretty sure we can get this done. Let's uh, shove them into two more walls. I thought that was going to give... Oh, that was going to give us 40%. I thought we were going to have eight mana from that mana potion. Was I completely off on that? Weird. I used the potion. It told me I was going to have nine, but instead I have five. I, I am not sure I understand what happened there, but that's fine. We used two potions, but we killed killed the baddie. Let's just uh, kill some stuff. Actually, let's um. Why don't we do some uh, wanna fight? Oof, we we pulled a, a fairly tough creature. That's fine. We should be able to just um smack him into some walls. And this one doesn't have uh first strike so we'll hit, we'll hit them once and then we'll do get in there and then kill them this is a, a you know we're getting quite a bit of extra xp is that a second extra dungeon no it's not okay the you know like for me the most valuable resource is the unexplored dungeon for recovering mana and uh health and you want to recover both if you can so so this lad, we are only going to get them down to like two-thirds health before we croak. Um, I'm wondering, well, we could, you know what, let's, let's do want to fight and just like see what we can pull. So we pulled this guy. We can, I think we can kill them, but I'd rather kill them if I had enough mana to do um, get in there. But this guy is slowed. 
He was slowed that one that one fight. Okay, so now we do get in there and we kill them. All right, so we're at 19 um, experience right now. Let's recover some of our health. And to me, I mean, I think the ideal there's a there's a couple of rules I think it's is that are good to kind of you know keep in mind. Uh, if you're recovering is m like the the maximum from each explore dungeon i think you're doing a good thing like for instance if i'm ex if i'm gaining both mana and health then that's good for instance if i explored this one dungeon tile here uh, i wouldn't i would get to max health to me that tells me that i'm wasting a little bit of potential on that tile i might have to do that you know it's not like you can make the most of it all the time but i'd rather uh, see if i can get away with not having to do that so we can hit this lad and then do get in there and then kill them with the first strike. See now we're 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 almost at full health, which means that we're we're wasting the explored potential. We have a mana potion, that's this is good. This warlock is uh they do some hefty damage. I don't think warlocks tend to be tough. We can't really kill... Well, we can kill this uh, Meat Man because we could get them... It's their the fourth attack and we'll level up off them. So this is actually perfect. So we'll hit them once, twice, three times and then we use Get and Dare to get that last kill, level up, gain all of our stuff back. I don't really have a method for Warlocks. They're kind of tough no matter what. We are at level seven, so that means we're going to be doing 30 damage per burn to raise plus extra damage for uh burning stacks so let's see if what we can get away with here so w this i thought it would do 30 damage 88 down to 60 is what, what is that that is 28 isn't it um interesting well i, I guess i don't fully understand how this is working oh it's four points right so it was going to be 28 right uh, my math is bad <laughs> so they have two burning stacks now this is not um take this additional magic one uh, damage when attack so if we do yeah we can right click to target them and that way when we hover over spells it tells us exactly how much damage we're going to do so when we did that extra magic attack they they first of all they got extra burning stacks and second of all they did take an extra bit of damage from the burning but it seems to me that the burning only does its stacks in damage so we're only doing two extra damage not a not a big deal really but anyway we're gonna kill them we did use up all our mana not necessarily a problem but um can be potentially a problem Honestly, there's just a there's a few things over here that we, we went down here, right? Yeah, we did. There's a few things over here we can kill. This is going to take three shots. Three shots and it'll only take one get in there to finish them off, which is what I like to see. I think we can get to at least level eight. You can't necessarily get to max level every uh, dungeon. This, this vampire dude, the banker is level 10. So they're going to be tough. They're going to be really tough. Honestly, it'd be good for us to take a couple of, uh, a little bit of damage on the nose. Why are we, re are we recovering? Oh, I see. We recovered. It's because I was exploring the dungeon. I was like, are we recovering health from the blood? No. Um, so yeah, let's take a couple. Oh, we're at max mana. When did that happen? How did I do that? I don't know how I did that, but I'm cool with that. Let's do getting there. So I guess what I'm saying, um, I, I'm not I'm not being concise about this at all, but like, uh, I, I think that it's good to balance how you're using your both your health and mana and mana like health really is a resource. Health is a resource for attacking creatures. So this guy's got first strike, so we can't do we can't use get and dare. So we may as well use burn to raise to do a bit of extra damage. And we leveled up. We're at level eight now. We might take on a uh, level nine. Oh, we got, I'm a wall. See, 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 that's why you don't want to kill all of your level one monsters. B 
because you don't really get much XP from killing them, but if you could turn them into walls, you'd get way more XP. So that is unfortunate. Now, I am exploring the dungeon here. What I should be doing is doing uh, Wanna Fight instead. Um, I'm just thinking, um, considering going over here and like turning this five into 50 plus 50 percent uh xp and then um we'll just kill this lad but uh easier said than done he does pack quite a punch okay we got we got some extra xp I am a little bit concerned that we're not going to get to level 9, and I think we'll need to be level 9 to kill this banker. I'm going to explore a little bit. Now we're at full uh, health and mana. Let's do want to fight. What? Do it. Why, why are you not doing it? That's concerning. How come it's not doing want to fight? Hmm, that's... why? Why? There are definitely monsters on the field. Say, okay, so let's let's look at this. We'll... I, I kind of wish it would also show us how much damage we're doing. Never mind, like, how much health they're going to have afterwards, but also how much damage are we doing? Just so they can better understand how things work, maybe? But anyway, we're going to bring them down to 136, so I can do the math myself. Um, it's, I guess we'll do 24 damage. Um, so we're doing 60% of base attack damage. Um, and I do wonder if, it says 50% if, if it hits another enemy. I wonder if it will uh, do damage to the other enemy. But let's do piss, piss orf. Oh, that sucks. There's a, another wall here. Mm, yeah, this didn't work out the way I wanted it to at all. I'd like to use these dungeon tiles to uh, do piss off, but it's not working. Uh, this guy packs a lot of damage. We couldn't really kill them, uh, conventionally speaking. Well, uh, what we could do is we could push them down. No, we can't really. I don't think we can push them into any walls. Because if we push them down towards a wall there, they're just going to be in between the walls again. And I I don't have a way of, of uh, pushing them through. Um, okay, if we push them diagonally down into this wall that would work so we can push them down there and then we can push them into that wall let's make sure we have full mana before we do this we can push them into that wall and then now, now we can push them up and this will help us um get the most bang for our buck with pishorf i guess i'm just committing to saying pishorf we do want to maintain enough mana to do a uh, get in there. So we're going to hit them once and then we'll do a get in there and then that'll kill them. And that's a that is a level nine killed. That's not bad. We are running out of dungeon, though. So I'm a little bit worried. So we got a meat man. Meat mans are, are fine. I don't mind meat man at all. We've got some extra mana. I kind of wish I could swap with the meat man. If I had that, did I convert that? Did I did I get a a, a swap and 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 just throw it away? Because actually the swap would have been kind of good, huh? I I really wonder. Summon an existing enemy, adding slow debuff. What is the limitations on want to fight? Because it seems to me it's not working. It's just not doing it. It's weird. It doesn't seem to want to do it. 
Honestly, if it's not doing it, um, we get 90 conversion. Let's go ahead and just convert. And we have 70 towards another conversion. We should consider um, dropping something else. And you know what? Honestly, I'm a wall is no longer very useful to us. And this might sound insane, but we have we're 10 towards another. We should consider like basically converting one of these potions. But we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that one. So we are going to get this guy down to nothing uh, and then we can do a get in there. But we may as well use our like mana. So we're going to we're going to hit them with one spell and then punch them a couple times. Um, and then do a get in there to kill. We got some extra damage. And we we just need one more kill. Uh, there is no more kills. Oh, no. Is there actually no more kills? One more level would have been perfect. Um, yeah, this is concerning. Well, the good news is that this guy is a, uh, never mind. I was going to say he's in the perfect position to hit him, but not really. Um, actually, it's not bad. Because what I could do, uh, I, I don't have a lot of tiles left to conserve. Or I guess we have another potion over here. We can pick that up. I'm just, I'm a little bit concerned about, I, I'd like to push him into all of these walls if I can. Because that would wear him down immensely. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to push him sideways and then push him down like this. And then we're going to recover our mana. Oh, there's one more health potion that'll actually that may be useful we have just enough tiles left to get to full mana and then we're gonna do um we're gonna do piss piss orf um we gotta well we can just keep doing this because I, I i have mana potions so let's go ahead and do it. so what is this guaranteed to restore 40 percent of your total mana Guaranteed to taste awful causes man uh, cures mana burn. Oh, I didn't know that actually So let's just keep doing this As long as we can do it now the thing is this costs three so we should we, we can't do it again after this But we can do a getting there um, We can hit them twice and then do uh, Do getting there so I think we've won it was kind of it was close though kind of very much down to the wire there explore a little more of the dungeon what lyra pacifist praise be hero i'm emissary lyra of the good elven people i must thank you for defeating that vampire upstairs it was trying to set me up with a dodgy loan, and those things always harsh up my vibes. Pre-faded plate armor is way cooler than forking out for a shiny new suit anyway. Your aura reads out pretty well. Are you from that brand new kingdom we've all been hearing about? I know a quick way out of this dungeon. If you take me back with you, I'd like to speak to your leader. We may be able to harmonize on a few things. All right, let's go. Win. I noticed that it, I don't think I got a reward, like a, a, a trophy for killing the banker. I like how the, the rewards actually pan like on the on the sound as they run across. <clears throat> I do kind of miss Meat Boy, but I, I support the them trying to have their own kind of original characters. Retired adventurers are full of useful knowledge that can make dungeoneering easier and poss possibly safer. They want a place to keep all the things they've discovered and are suggesting a guild of exploration. I could learn from that. Puzzles unlocked starter pack. Puzzles unlocked tutorials. Puzzles unlocked Agbar's Academy. Most well-arrested administrator, a particularly motivated bunch of adventurers, have constructed a new building on the edge of your kingdom. They quite, uh, quite kept me awake with all that hammering. Shall we see what their enthusiasm has wrought? 
Yeah. Sir looks a lot. McSurchy and Co. <laughs> A guild of explorers is covered wall to wall with old maps, ancient texts, and tacky tourism souvenirs. It's mostly devoid of people since, well, they're out exploring. From time to time, guild of members will come across new situations for your adventures to conquer. These puzzles will test your creativity and resource management in tightly defined scenarios. Most curious and building pokey administrator. This is the, <laughs> this is the guild of exploration built to give adventurers small fixed dungeon scenarios with distinct solutions guild ma members often just call these things puzzles puzzles are organized in packs like these selecting one will show its con contents if you manage to complete every puzzle in the pack you'll usually get a reward new puzzles arrive at the guild from time to time most of them have important lessons to teach so be sure to come back and solve them if you find yourself getting stuck in harder dungeons we get a reward of 300 gold um, for defeating an entire pack. We also get 100 gold for beating that dungeon. The elves are a welcome sight in times like these. Their magical prowess and arcane knowledge is as reputable as their unnaturally good looking hair, making them valuable allies in the adventuring uh, effort. Of course, their services don't come cheap. If you want to start training them up for adventures, you'll need to improve their living quarters. Elves, dope. Yeah, let's upgrade them. I want elves. Are, are, are the elves just the... Are they just potheads? Is that the joke here? That's pretty good. This rather disheveled part of the kingdom is inhabited by a small army of barefoot, herb-huffing elves. They smell awful, but at least they have gorgeous hair. This building allows you to recruit elves for your dungeon runs. Um, okay, well, that's going to do it for the episode. The dungeons are going to take longer, and so probably I'm only going to be able to fit one per episode. And like I said, I want to keep these kind of easy breezy. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully you're cool with that. I hope you appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.